Hi guys, it's Bookwester again. Today I'm going to read you Viking Adventure, Oxford Reading Tree. Wilf and Wilma came to the door. It was time to go to school. Chipper told everyone about his adventure at the teddy bear's picnic, but nobody believed him. Ding, 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 ding. Chip and Wolf were in Mr. Johansen's class. The children liked Mr. Johansen. He made everything interesting and he told lots of good stories. Mr. Johansen had a model ship. Can you tell me what sort of ship this is? he asked. Wolf put up his hand. It's a Viking ship, he said. Well done, Wolf, said Mr. Johansen. Mr. Johansen showed the children a picture of a Viking ship. This ship was called a long ship, he said. It had oars and a sail, and it moved very fast through the water. The Vikings lived a long time ago, said Mr. Johansen. They crossed the sea in ships like this. Mr. Johansen showed the children a Viking helmet and a Viking shield. Mm. Mr. Johansen helped the children with the Viking project. It was very interesting. They had model longships and they made Viking shields and helmets. Mr. Johansen took the children into the school hall. They made a large, l big long ship. Then they all dressed up as Vikings and pretended to row it. It's hard work being a Viking, said Biff. The children came home to, from school. They looked at the magic key. They wanted it to glow because it had not glowed for a long time. Kipper told them about his magic adventure, but still nobody believed him. Kipper was upset. The magic key glowed in the night, he said. It glowed when it was dark. It did, it did, it did. Biffa looked at the key. I wonder... Biff had a good idea. Maybe the key will glow in the dark, he sa she said. She got a torch and then she found a big, thick blanket. The children sat on the floor and they pulled the blanket over themselves. It was dark under the blanket. Suddenly, the key began to glow. The magic was working after all. I told you so, said Kipper. There was no wind. The Vikings rowed the longships across the sea. Every man pulled on the oars. It, it was hard work being a Viking. Suddenly, the wind began to blow. Hooray, said the Vikings. Now we can put up the sail. The wind can blow the ship along and we, don't have, we won't have to work so hard. One of the Vikings heard a noise. He went to look. He found the children. Oh no, said Wilf. We're on a Viking longship. I don't believe it. The Viking jumped back. He couldn't believe it either. He looked very fierce. Oh dear, said Gibber. He doesn't look pleased to see us. <laughs> the Viking pushed the children to the back of the longship. Look at all these animals, said Kippa. I don't like it here. It smells. The wind began to blow harder. 
The Vikings put up the sail. The wind blew harder, and the ship tossed up and down. The waves splashed over the children. They got cold and wet. Kippa began to feel sick. It's not much fun on a long ship, he said. At last, the long ship landed. Hooray! Shouted the Vikings. They jumped into the water and carried boxes and barrels to the shore. The children looked over the side of the long ship. I hope we don't have to jump in," said Kepa. "It looks cold and wet. You don't have to jump in," said the Viking. "I'll throw you in." The children waded to the shore. The villagers were amazed. They had never seen children like these before. Kepa had some sweet. She shared them with the Viking children. They had never seen sweets before. They didn't know what to do with them. The Vikings took the children into a long hall. The fire of fire was burning in the middle of the floor. There was smoke everywhere. It began to get dark, and soon it was time to have some food. So this is what Vikings eat," said Wolf. As soon as it was dark, a long ship sailed close to the shore. On the long ship were some Viking raiders. They were going to attack the village. One of the villagers saw the long ship and ran into the long hall. Help! Help! He called. Raiders are landing. The raiders looked very fierce. They ran toward the village. They're going to attack," said Wolf. "What can we do?" I wish the magic key would glow," said Kipper. Biff had an idea. She shone her torch. The raiders and the villagers had never seen a light like this before. They were frightened, and they all fell to the ground. The raiders ran back to the longship and sailed away. Hurray! Said the villagers. They won't come back here in a hurry. The Vikings looked at Biff's torch. This is a magic thing, they said. It frightened us, but it frightened the raiders even more, and it saved our village. The villagers lit a big fire on the beach. They had a party for the children. They gave Biff a shield. Thank you. It's beautiful," said Biff. Biff wanted to give the torch to the Vikings, but Wolf told her not to. The magic key began to glow. It is time for the adventure to end. Biff showed the Viking shield to Mister Johansson. It's very good," said Mister Johansson. But Viking shields didn't look like this. Biff looked at Wolf and smiled. Viking adventure. The children find themselves in a long ship at the start of a Viking adventure. Can they save the Viking village when the raiders attack? <laughs> Viking adventure. Bye, bye, guys. Don't, don't. If you liked it, well, you know what to do.